Butterfly is the most technically difficult swimming style and it is also the most energy consuming. Learning to correctly swim butterfly is a challenge and only small number of amateur swimmers learn to swim this style properly, but don't let this deter you. It is possible to achieve the correct technique which will allow you to swim smoothly and with enjoyment. However, swimming with incorrect technique feels difficult. In this video, you will learn the basics of swimming butterfly. So get ready to start your path, mastering this swimming style with me. In swimming, it is crucial to grab the water in the first phase of the arm stroke. This allows the swimmer to apply power and move forward. If the swimmer doesn't grab the water, the arm stroke may pass through the water without resistance, and the swimmer won't gain any forward momentum. In all swimming styles, the arm stroke is the most important part, but this is especially true in butterfly. The arm stroke starts by grabbing the water. In butterfly it is similar to the grabbing phase of breaststroke. The hands at the angle of 45 degrees and are brought down and to the side while the elbows stay high. In this way, the swimmer achieves the desired high elbow position. This is the correct way to perform the stroke. The trajectory of the arm stroke in the butterfly can be simply described as a keel shape, as can be seen in the video. In the first phase of the stroke, the hands draw the first half of a circle. Then once they achieve a high elbow position, the hands draw the second half of a circle applying maximum power. At the end of the arm stroke the hands form a triangle and move to a straight position. To succeed in butterfly, it is crucial to get the correct rhythm for kicking during one arm stroke movement. Two kicks are done. The first kick is performed at the end of the arm stroke and the second one is done when the hands are entering the water after return. The second kick is slightly stronger between the first and second kick the time interval is not as big as it might seem. When the arm stroke is done the next important point is to return the hands forward, keeping the arms relaxed. The hands are in the same position as in the end of the stroke. The thumb is closer to the surface than the little finger. It is crucial not to turn hands the other way around while returning them forward as it will affect the technique and body position a lot. Also, it's worth mentioning that the swimmer should not lift their hands too high while returning them forward. The hand should be returned quite low, just a little bit over the water surface. While returning the hands forward, the swimmer takes the breath. During the breath, the swimmer keeps a straight position of the body as well as a straight back. Breathing is done only by lifting the chin up and keeping the chest and shoulders horizontal. The head should be put down before hands enter the water in front. When returning the hands, the swimmer should transfer their weight forward by leaning the shoulders up or back forward. By doing this, the swimmer will save speed and achieve an ideal position for gliding. Gliding starts when the hands enter the water and stretch forward. It is important to mention that the swimmer should glide forward, but not down. Also in butterfly gliding is not as long as in breaststroke. Each swimmer should find their own length of gliding. In butterfly body movement is important for the smoothness of swimming. It should be a wave motion similar to the movement of a dolphin. During an arm stroke, the body is straight after doing the first kick, the body and hips lift up a little. After the second kick the body glides and in the end, it is necessary to lift the hips a little for a better glide. Please let me know what you find to be the most difficult part of butterfly technique, like this video if it was useful to you. And if you're looking forward to the next video and subscribe to the channel.